There are a ton of custom made mods for New Super Mario Bros U that can give you hours of new levels to play. It's almost like a massive DLC expansion pack but it doesn't cost anything because it's all fan made. And the best part is, you can play them from a digital or physical copy of the game. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to set up the most popular mod, Cloudy SMBU 2 made by Rymia, along with how to find every available NSMBU mod, how to download them and the proper setup on Wii U as well as the Samu emulator. And yes this would be the same process for modding any Wii U game. I just like this one. Also before we get started I think I have to say that this video will not be showing you how to obtain any paid software illegally and this is for educational purposes only. But anyway to get started all you need is a homebrewed Wii U with a Roma custom firmware. If you don't have your console modded yet I'll link my full guide down below for you to get started there and if you're on Simu I'll have a guide on how to set that up below as well. Secondly you'll need either a physical or digital copy of the base game you want to play which in our case is New Super Mario Bros U without the Luigi upgrade. But if you have that ready, let's get started. So to get started, the first step is to get the actual mod files themselves. So I have two websites down below. The first one is this one here. It's going to have tons of different options. And the homepage is sorted by creator. So we have Rymia here. Scroll down, there's Willy Maker, Jerry Tendo, Day Owner. There's an absolutely ton of different mods that you can get, which is awesome. But to download them, if you find the one you want, so Cloudy Super Mario Bros. U2, I'm going to click download scroll down you can download the latest version and not every link will be the same in this case it's a google drive sometimes it's going to be mega it just depends on where the creator is hosting it now when it comes to downloading the files if there is a file like this like a readme text which version should you download it's a good idea to open it up and read it. Basically, Rymia is saying that this mod was created for Simu. There's a console edition that works better on the Wii U. So depending if you're playing it on Simu or Wii U, grab whichever one you want. I'll be grabbing both because I'm showing you guys both, but just download here, download anyway. Feel free to browse the site and check out what it has to offer. And before we go to the second site, I'm happy to say that Swiftu is the sponsor of today's video. Swiftu is an all-in-one software for all your PDF reading and editing needs. It's a free software, but it offers a much more comprehensive pro version that offers almost any PDF editing feature you can think of. Better yet, they let you try out the pro version free for seven days, letting you decide if it's going to be worth it for what you need. Edit, convert, merge, compress, create, annotate, sign, you name it, Swiftu has it. The best option is to purchase the perpetual license, meaning there is no active subscription fee, unlike most programs these days, but you still get future upgrades and support. If you want to try it out, you can download it from the official website for Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS, or I'll have a link in the description ready to go. Make sure to check out their cross-platform sale giving you access no matter what device you're using but thank you again to Swiftu for the sponsor and now let's get back to modding but the second website is going to be this mods database here this is a little bit more organized and it's really cool because you can sort them by number of worlds or number of levels or the release date and then if there's a specific mod you're looking for you can hit Control F and type it in so if we type in deserted you can hit these arrows and skip so there's deserted right there or there's super mario deserted world so you can grab whatever mod you want i'm also going to grab deserted super mario bros u this one was made by willy maker this one's also a google drive i'd recommend highlighting all the files in here and then pressing download that way you always have the important text file which we will read before setting this one up and then i'll also show you a mega one so how about mario sunshine express click download file and here just click this box to highlight them all and press download download as zip file and then while those are downloading if there's any mods that you cannot find on here you can go to gamebanana.com so search up game banana and smbu and the first link should be for that game and you can find all sorts of stuff here but the other sites are just much better for the full mod pack so here on the side you can get full mods levels skins so if you just want to get a new skin for your character you can click on that so for example if you want skeleton mario over normal mario click on it there'll be a manual download and then this one is a zip file but just click download and then that setup for just a character skin will be slightly different but i'll show you how to do that as well so we have our mod files if you are on wii u and you do not already have sd caffeine which is a plugin for aroma custom firmware made by Michelle, who also made aroma i'll have this linked down below as well and you can just download the sd caffeine zip file but if you followed my full modding guide, you should already have this. You can also get it from the Homebrew App Store or the Aroma Updater on your console. But I'll show you where it goes on your SD as well. Alright, now that we have our mod files and the plugin, if you're on Wii U, we can close our browser, open up your downloads, 
And now let's get to setting them up. Since Simu is a very simple process, I'm gonna show you how to do that first. So if you're here just looking for setup on the Wii U, skip ahead to this timestamp and you can continue from there. But for those of you with Simu, let's set up Cloudy Super Mario Bros U2. So keep your downloads open, but we're also gonna go and open Simu. So as I mentioned at the start, you just need the base game installed and ready to play. All right, to set it up, go into options, graphics packs, and we'll just download the latest community graphics packs here. It's very quick. If you already had them, you're good. Exit out. Now go to file, open Simu folder, and here go into graphics packs. You should see downloaded graphics packs here, and it'll have a whole list of games. It is alphabetically organized, so you can scroll down to N, and you can find new Super Mario Bros. U pretty quick, or you can go into the search and just go new, and there it is. Go inside, you should see these folders, and go inside the mods folder. This one already has remove HUD, but I'm gonna move this folder to the right, and then my downloads on the left. Now all of these files will need to be extracted. Windows 11 should have it, but I use 7-zip. You can either right click, show more options, 7-zip, and then extract to, or you can simply open up the file, and here you can just drag this cloudy SMBU2, or whichever mod name you're doing, and bring it into your mods folder. Let that transfer over. And then you'll also see here that this specific mod has some PNGs. So if you plan to make videos on it, you can use this logo for your thumbnail. With that being said, there is a message for content creators here. So opening that up, it basically says that he just wants to be credited for his work. So if you do plan to make videos on any mods, I highly recommend crediting the author as it's just the right thing to do. But that is the basic setup for the mod. If we go back, if you have a character skin you wanna add on, like our skeleton Mario, the proper placement for this file, this SZS file, go into Cloudy SMBU2 or whichever mod, go into content, common, actor, and you'll see there is already a file named exactly the same. We are gonna replace it with this file. So drag it on and click replace. And then you should have a custom skin when you load that mod. So that's how you set up the character skins there. And you can have as many mod folders as you want. You'll have options later to toggle them on and off. Now, when you wanna play it, first give your Simu a restart. Now go to options, graphics packs. And then if you have a whole list here, just make sure installed games is checked. Click the plus icon, click the mods icon, and you should see your mod right here. Make sure it's checked and then you exit out. And alternatively, you can right click on the game and go to edit graphics packs, and then you can toggle the mod there as well. But once you have it toggled on, you can simply start it and you'll be ready to play your mod. And there you go, we're on the mod. And now that we're done on Simu, let's go set it up for the Wii U. So we'll put our downloads on the left and then the SD you use to mod your Wii U on the right. Mine's my hit like here. The first thing that we need to make sure is set up is our SD caffeine plugin. So if you already have that good to go, you're fine. But if not, go to Wii U, environments, aroma, plugins, and here the SD caffeine file, open that up and it should be a WPS file, drag it on. I already have it, so I'm gonna replace, but that's where that file goes. So you can go back and delete the zip file. Go back to the root of your SD card, and now we need to set up the mods. So to do that, go into your Wii U folder, and if you do not already have an SD caffeine folder, go ahead and create one. Make sure it's spelled the same way as on my screen, but once you have that, go inside, and here we need to get the game's title ID. So there's a couple options in the description. I'll have three different regions for New Super Mario Bros. U where you can copy and paste. Or if you're following along for a different game, I will also have this title database here as well. To find your game, go Control F and search the game. So if you just type new, New Super Mario Bros. U, there are different regions. This one is USA. So just be mindful of your region. And then you can highlight this right here, copy it, Go back to your SD caffeine folder, create a new folder and paste, but we're gonna take away the hyphen and press enter. And that's your title ID for new Super Mario Bros. You go inside of there and now we can place our mod file. Open up your mod zip file. I'll do cloudy Super Mario Bros. U2 first. Grab this file here and drag it on. All right, that's transferred on. Now, if there's any readme files in the mod download, I, 
I highly recommend reading them. And in this case, Rymia has a two content creator. So if you plan on making a video on it, all he asks is to credit his work in the description or within the actual video. Not every mod will have this, but Rymia has added a logo. So there's a PNG file here for the title screen logo. So if you need to use that for a thumbnail, there it is, very high quality, good to go. But you can back out and delete the zip. In the mod folder, there should be a content folder. That's the most important one. And now if you wanna set up multiple mods, let's go ahead and do that now. You can have as many as you want. You'll be able to select which one you wanna play before you start the game. So let's set up Super Mario Sunshine Express. We'll do the same thing, open up the zip. Now this one, you have to be a bit careful before you go and drag this folder on, go inside and there's no content, but there is another mod folder. So inside of there is the content. So this is the one that we have to put on our SD card. So just drag it over. We'll let that transfer. Again, read me text, definitely recommend reading it. So there's some information there. And again, if you're making a video on it, make sure to credit the creator, Pat TX. hopefully I'm saying that right. And then they have also added a logo if you wanna use it for a thumbnail. And that's transferred over you can go back and delete the zip file you don't need it anymore and again go inside and there's a content folder ready to go and lastly i'm going to set up deserted smbu so i'm going to open up the zip file and this one's a little bit different there's just a content folder so we need to make the mod folder ourselves so on the sd card where your other mods are right click new folder deserted smbu2 spelling isn't a big deal it doesn't have to be spelled properly for it to work but obviously make sure it's something that you can recognize which mod it is and inside of there we can place the content folder and that's how you set up mods that come with only the content just like all the other ones if there's a text file definitely read it it gives credits as well as there's a note here don't play the two airship with nabbit it will crash the game good to know so now we have three mods set up ready to go if you have any character skins like this skeleton mario inside is a .szs file if you want to place this in one of the mods let's do deserted smbu go inside of content common and if there is not an actor folder you can create your own but go inside there is a file already named exactly the same so all we're going to do is drag this on and replace if you get this error, let's just extract it first. That should solve it. So right click, show more options, 7-zip, extract to, open up the extracted file, and then try to drag it on. And there we go, it has replaced the file. But there you go, you got your character skin ready to go, and you can add that to whichever mod pack you want. And now, but now we're ready to eject and head over to the Wii U. And now over on your Wii U, the first thing we're gonna do is go to the Aroma plugin menu. So to do that, hit the left bumper, down on the d-pad and minus and you'll see this screen here go down and find sd caffeine press a make sure this says true and then go into advanced settings now you'll have the option to auto apply the mod pack if only one mod pack exists now in my case i have three set up so i can have that set to true but it won't matter because there's three it's still going to be giving me an option but if you only have one you are welcome to use that there's also an option for skip preparing mod pack screen and this really only matters if you only have one mod pack that you have loading now i have these settings because my custom theme for my wii u uses sd caffeine yes i know no, there's a new method out I'll, I'll make a video soon so you can change these settings but the important one is that SD caffeine has to be set to true but once you're good there press B and now we're ready to start the game so again it can be the physical copy or the digital version but you just press a to load it up and we should see a menu that looks just like this so this gives you an option to launch the vanilla version by pressing b to launch without a mod pack or you can simply use the d-pad on your wiimote or your gamepad to select which mod you want to load so press a to load the mod you want and you should be good to go <laughs> and here we go you can already see skeleton mario but now you're playing your mod Deserted Mario Bros. U in my case. Skelly Mario is very suiting for this one. Shout out to Willy Maker for this one. Definitely recommend it. I've played a little bit of it myself. But there you go, guys. You're all set to play your favorite mods for new Super Mario Bros. U or any Wii U game. If you found this video helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could hit that like button as that helps me out. But that's it for today. So I'll see you on the next video. Stay funky and happy modding. <laughs>